Okay, let's go ahead and review these algebra square root operations here. And I'm going to try to teach you this in about 10 minutes. So uh, for some of you, maybe you're learning this for the first time. So this uh, little video will definitely help. And maybe uh, others uh, of you out there are just reviewing this. But this is absolutely essential to your success in algebra, working with uh, square roots. And I'm going to give you um, basically what these properties are, and we'll take a look at a couple examples. So I'm going to try to get this done in about 10 minutes. So let me quickly introduce myself, and we'll get uh, on to covering uh, these uh, three operations. So obviously we're talking about multiplying square roots, dividing square roots, and adding square roots would be the same as subtracting as well. So basically the major uh, math operations for square roots. Of course, I'm going to get into this in just one second, but uh, first, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over uh, several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video, but uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, um, algebra two. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here uh, shortly. I'm very excited about that. But um, I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, um, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, CLEP exam, ALEX exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, all those exams I mentioned have a lot of math on them. And if you don't do well in the math section, you don't do well on the exam. So if you're studying for a particular exam, just go to my website and you can check out my full course catalog. I should have the test you're studying for. If I do not, uh, drop me a line and I will help you out the best I can. Um, I also do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great uh, homeschool learning system. And then lastly, I help those of you that are just having a tough time in your current math course. Now, one thing I cannot do for you that you must do for yourself if you're serious about improving in mathematics, and that is taking great math notes. So over decades of teaching math, uh, really, I think this is the secret to doing very, very well in mathematics is note taking. Okay, I've just seen this over and over again. Those students that take great notes almost always have great math grades, and the reverse is true. Those students who blow off their notes like I did way back in the good old 1980s, I was like, eh, no taking, yeah, whatever, da 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 da, and always ended up with grades like C minus. Uh, it wasn't until later on uh, in college and after the Marine Corps where I got some discipline, and I said, you know what, there's um, only one way to uh, learn something. You got to pay attention, right? You got to stay focused. So, no taking is that activity that will help you out. Now, as you're improving, you still need something to study from. Study from. So I offer detailed, comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. All right, so let's get into these uh, uh, operations with square roots, and I'm going to try to keep this about 10 minutes. We'll see how I do. All right, so let's go to the first one. So we're trying to multiply, or when we multiply two square roots. So Square root of A times the square root of B, that's equal to the square root of A times B. Okay, so you want to write that down in your notes if you don't have that. So let's just take a look at a basic example. Uh, square root of 3 times the square root of 2. Okay, so how can I do this problem? Well, you just write one big square root. Oh, let me simplify this a little bit better here. And we just go, okay, this is going to be square root of 3 times 2 which, of course, is the square root of 6, okay? Now, uh, this property plays uh, a very important part for us to simplify radicals. Let me give you another example here, okay? So if you understand this, this is uh, pretty straightforward. Um, let's take a look at uh, doing this in reverse because this is very, very important. Let's say I have the square root, let me write it here, square root of 20, okay? So you say, okay, square root of 20. Well, how can I simplify this square root? And you need to know how to do this as well. Well, you can go backwards. The factors, I can split the factors of a square root up, okay? So this a times b, you're saying, okay, well, the square root of 20, isn't that the same thing as the square root of 4 times 5? Yes, it is, okay? So I'm kind of going backwards here. Now, the reason why I, I would want to do this is I can split up these input, uh, these two factors into their own individual little square roots. So this is the square root of 4 
times the square root of 5. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, because I can uh, take the square root of this nice little, what we call perfect square. The square root of 2 is positive negative 2. We'll just write a little 2 here. 2 square root of 5, and there you go. Okay, so when you're faced with a radical like this, you need to simplify by using this particular property backwards. Okay? All right, so I got to get 10 minutes. Maybe I've already used five. Uh, let me go ahead and continue on. Okay, by um, just one little uh, thought here as well. If you have additional questions on this or you want to continue to learn this, a couple suggestions. I have tons of videos uh, on my YouTube channel and my uh, algebra playlist on square roots. You can check those out or better, better yet, just uh, join my algebra course and my math help program. All right, so let's talk about the division of radicals. So we have the square root of A divided by the square root of B. Well, guess what? You could just have one big square root of A over B. Okay, it's very similar to this. Let's take a look at an example. What if I have the square root of 20 and I'm dividing it by the square root of 5? Okay, so this right here in and of itself, we're like, well, I don't really like this. And by the way, you never want to have a square root in the denominator. That's a separate video uh, you want to check out. Uh, I have, again, tons of videos on my YouTube channel on how we deal with that. Right here, I'm just focusing in on these basic math operations, multiplication, division, etc. But here, I could say, well, um, I have the square root of 20 divided by square root of 5. We could just have one big radical, 20 divided by 5. And this little square root symbol is also called a radical, if we didn't know that. And 20 divided by 5 is what? Well, that's the square root of 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. Now, really, square root of 4, but we are talking about square roots here, is really positive and negative 2. All right, so you should get in the habit of writing both this little positive and negative there because 2 times 2, positive 2, times positive 2 is 4. And negative 2 times negative 2 is also positive 4, okay? So when you take the square root of a real number, uh, don't forget this little positive and negative sign. It's very important, okay? All right, so anyways, that's the division of uh, two square roots or two radicals, okay? All right, so if you understand these two properties so far, then, you know, that's that's very good, okay? You're like, you're going to walk away from this little video with uh, an increased knowledge of this stuff for sure. All right, let's talk about adding and subtracting. So this uh, uh, property here I'm going to talk about next is uh, for both addition and subtraction of radicals. Now, this one is a little bit different, okay? You can only add these here if these two are the same, okay? So let me give you an example. It's easier to show, uh, to show this. So if I have uh, 3 radical 2 or square root of 2 plus... 5 square root of 2. I can do this problem. I'm going to I'm going to do this here in a second. But if I have 3 square root of 2 plus 5 square root of 3, this I cannot do. Okay. Now, you can add or subtract square root uh, uh, terms. Okay. Expressions. If the these here, these square roots are exactly the same. Okay, they have to be exactly the same. In other words, this is the square root of 2. This is the square root of 2. So I just add these numbers here, 3 and 5. So this is 8 square root of 2. Okay? Now, this one here, 3 square root of 2 plus 5 square root of 3, I cannot do the, the this problem. This is uh, as fully simplified. I'm done right here. Okay? It's as fully simplified as I can go because these two are different. This is very much like an algebra when you're combining like terms, like 2x I can combine with 5x because these are exactly uh, the same. Same thing here. Now let's go back to this problem. I have 3 square root of 2 plus 5 square root of 2. What if, what if this was the cube root of 2? Now could I do this problem here? 3 uh, square root of 2 plus 5 times uh, the cube root of 2. Can I do this? No, I cannot because, again, these two are not exactly the same. They're different, so this would just be the final answer. Okay, so I don't know if I'm at 10 minutes, over 10 minutes, but listen, you know, my thing is I try to have these little catchy titles to kind of draw you in, you know, uh, but I always want you to walk away from my videos learning something, okay? And if you 
you know, feeling like, hey, you know, I learned a lot in a short period of time. Well, then I did my job. And if that is the case, please uh, do myself a favor and uh, smash that like button. OK. And um, if you're not uh, a subscriber to my channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for over 10 years. I have over a thousand plus videos, um, basic to advanced math, organized in various playlists on my channel. They're there for you. My passion is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So if you like my teaching style, I have a ton of uh, uh, you know resources and videos, and I'm posting new content all the time. But again, my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time. And have a great day.